loved to read when I was a little girl. I must have been about seven. I opened it and I, was, I recognized the street names because it's the neighborhood I lived in. So I was like, oh, I know Cottage Grove. I know Lake Park. I know these streets. And so I'm reading it and reading it. It's like, <gasps> with Richard being here, literally his papers here in his space, there's a sacred undertaking about that. When we saw the map that he drew of where Bigger runs and where the Daltons live, and then to be able to pinpoint that where I lived as a child was 10 blocks north of there, I was like, what? This is unbelievable. My house would be right here on this diagram that he drew. The thing that re resonated with me as a child, I loved Bigger. I loved him. And I know that uh, Richard's intention was kind of like, well, I don't want you to love him. I want you to understand what made him. What's most important to me is how he tries himself and comes to an understanding about his humanity, which is way more important. We, I mean, and for Richard's time, you know, people didn't want to own up to what, they, what society had created. We know that, especially now. Boy, do we know that now. And I was working on an adaptation of Native Son while I was working in Singapore on this other play. I left Singapore and I got on a plane and I went back to Chicago and I got off the plane and George Zimmerman had been acquitted. I said, what? What? But I felt like it was an absence of empathy for the black man, the young boy, really, who was murdered. You know, walking in the rain with Skittles and Arizona iced tea. Native son has to speak to that, has to. You have to get inside and empathize with this young boy who's navigating this environment.